You are now listening to the Pelicans Post Game Report. Flash Report. What's up, everybody? We down to the wire, ready to take it to another level on Pelicans basketball. Shout out to PPR Big Q and DC. I am Lexi Drew, the voice of the PPR Flash Reports. Kudos to all the listeners. Appreciate y'all tuning in. So, the Pelicans are on a four-game winning streak taking care of business on the road against the Suns, Blazers, Kings, and the Warriors. All this left is the Lakers, a team the Pels have history with, as well as a score to settle. It all comes down to this one game to solidify and secure the Pels in the sixth seed. To assure the Pels are a shoe-in in the playoffs, This is it, y'all. The Pels are at the crib, and they got to bring it from the jump. This one game is going to determine if they're a playoff team or a play-in team. Two different worlds. Even with the stellar road wins, it won't matter if the Pels don't top it off against the Lakers with the win. It is imperative, I repeat, imperative for the Pelicans to do more. It's the more part. The Pelicans played outstanding against the Kings and the Warriors. But as well as they did, guess what, y'all? It's not enough. It's not enough. You know, the Pels have more to give. Like, we can't dwell on those games anymore. Yes, the Pelicans came out with great energy. Uh, Guys were knocking down shots. CJ has been on a tear. Zion has been like he's gone to Xanos mode on the defensive end. Um, He's still, uh, you know, stacking his days, really showing up and showing up and showing out on the offensive end. Trigger's really stepped up his game. Um, Guys off the bench have really stepped up. Jose really knocking down shots, doing Jose things. Uh, Cody Zeller coming in, giving us um, important minutes, meaningful minutes. We've seen all these things. Dyson Daniels, his confidence is boosted ever since the Boston Celtics. The dude has been doing his thing, and I'm telling you, confidence makes a huge difference. And Dyson Daniels is a spitting image of what confidence can do for you. All these things are great, but you know what? It's not enough. It's still not enough. We're heading into the playoffs. We're heading into the playoffs, and the Pelicans have to do more. They can't get complacent. This is literally it. And now it's down to one game against the Lakers. Look, according to the Lakers, it's a must win for them too, even though, you know, the best that they can do is be a playing team. But there's still seedings in the play-in. For the Pelicans, though, this game means way more to the Pelicans than to the Lakers. Because it's the difference between being a shoo-in into the playoffs and not. And that's it. Man, look, we, Pelicans got more to play for than the Lakers. And let me tell you something. I'm not letting that in-season tournament play against the Lakers I'm not letting that go like anything and everything that is going to help the Pelicans win this game they need to call upon those emotions every single last one of them because that's what this team is going to need to go up against a team like this a LeBron James-esque team an Anthony Davis-esque team we can't let D'Lo get off in this game can't let that dude get off this game means way more to the pelicans man this is about this isn't just about this game man this is about respect man you know i remember jimmy butler he made a statement about um the the playoffs uh and he felt like uh i think he said this during the bubble that in order to get the champ to the championship um to be a legit contender you got to go through a LeBron James. Well, guess what? The Pelicans got to go through a LeBron James team. They're standing in the way. 
we need to give the Lakers this L, like the first letter in their name, okay? Okay? We need to give them this L. They need to go on and take this thing. You know, the Pelicans are at the crib, and at the crib, you know, they did have a, a four-game losing streak. But you know what? The Pelicans went on the road. When all odds were against them, against the Suns, they beat them. Portland, they, they took care of Portland like they were supposed to. The Kings, 5-0 uh, and 0 against the Kings. Went to the Warriors' spot, won a close game. Determined by five points. Something that the Pelicans are not known for doing. Because we know that this Pelicans team has been winning one way. So that was an impressive win. But it's not done. It's not over. The Pelicans still got more to do. Look, and those of you who think that, man, Zion's doing his thing, you know what? Zion has more that he can give. He's got more that he can give. Like, what he's giving, yeah, that's that's great, Zion, but there's more. There's more. There's more. We've seen him bring out, you know, some of his weapons already before the playoffs have even started, legitimately started. He's pulled out the midi. He's taken he's taken uh the three. He's getting to the line. He's getting steals. I mean, the man had a high uh he 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 broke uh, you know, he broke a record as far as, you know, steals. Not only steals, blocks as well. That was all during um that four game uh uh, uh, uh four game uh winning streak on the road. Zion is locked in. And let me tell you something. I know the team is locked in, but it's imperative that we have Zion locked in because he is the key. He's the key that's making this engine go. Like, he is doing superstar, superhuman things. He's got to go Hulk mode, go more into Hulk mode or Xanos mode. However you want to see it, choose violence. Literally, it's, it's no time to be nice. Man, it's time to play with the edge, and it's, try, it, it, it's time to get this thing. There's no time to waste. This game, look, those other games, the four-game winning streak, it don't mean nothing if they don't get this game right here. We got we to gotta break this, this, this rut and really do something, get on the path to, to getting respect, to being a legitimate contender. That's what this is going to take. It's the more part, more energy. And it's not, it's not things that you can determine on, on the stat sheet. It's playing with more heart, playing with more wheel, playing with more fire, playing with more edge. Playing with more of 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 uh, more discipline, more of a sense of urgency, more high level of play, more IQ, and whatever more you can think of, more of that, more of that, and on top of that, more than that. Like that's what this thing is gonna take. Pelicans gotta want this more than the other team. They got to be more hungry. They, 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 they have to have more energy, you know, getting those 50-50 balls. Like now, like this win belongs to us. That's that more. It's the more part. It's the more part. Everything more, nothing less. Don't think for one minute that we're not playing against politics. Politics is on the Lakers' side. They want the Lakers in the playoff picture. Okay? They want them in the playoff picture. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, let, me, let me tell you just how much I'm ready for the Pelicans to disappoint everybody. Everybody up in this piece. That's what the Pelicans got to do. More disappointment in that aspect. We know the Pelicans are not going to get the calls. Even with the Pelicans being at the crib, 
you know, we, we know how this is. But you know what? If the Pelicans adopt, if the Pelicans embrace, if they digest the more part, as I said before, guess what? That nullifies everything else, the politics and everything else. We've got to be determined that this is going to belong to us. The sixth seed has the Pelican's name on it. Now finish the job and take care of business. But that's all I got for y'all. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit up in the comments what you believe the Pels need to do more of. Again, appreciate y'all tuning in. I am Lexi Drew, and I'm out, y'all. Subscribe now and stay up to date for all things New Orleans Pelican.